Yeah, I mean, obviously we're just excited to be here and uh, excited to win this thing. Um, you know, I give Hofstra a lot of credit. They played a great game. Um, but, you know, it was awesome to, to come back in the, there in the fourth quarter and make some plays and, you know, go back and forth in the overtime. And, and Cole, you know, sticks one at the end there. Um, but obviously we're super excited. We're, you know, we're, we've been working for this thing for a long time. And these guys uh, work really hard to get to this point. So I'm happy for them. Coach, what was the game plan for you guys in overtime? Um, I mean, it wasn't too much different. I think, you know, we tightened some things up on the defensive end and, and took away some stuff on the crease um, that they'd been hurting us on. Uh, I just thought we played a little bit better. We played, you know, some things on the defensive end better. Um, and then down on the offensive end, we just tried to, run, you know, do the things that we do well and that we've done all year. Um, and, you know, they played great. They made some, some big stops and went back and forth. Um, you know, we all, I think a lot of us thought Cole got it the first, the first time and, uh, you know, wasn't sure how that one didn't go in. Um, but we got, you know, he got another opportunity, and I mean, it made an incredible, incredible shot. Here, Cole, talk about the game winning goal. What did you see on it? Uh, you know, Jules just gave me a nice pass, and I thought I had the opportunity. I just shot it uh, off stick, and just happened to go in. Ben, you only had 12 assists coming into this game, and they shut you down goal scoring wise. But how were you able to feed your attackmen the ball and get them open? I mean, yeah, they, they were sliding smart guys pretty quick. Like Ryan, they were sliding to really quick, so I would just pop off, and by then they'd have the two big there, and I was able to find Cole out on the backside. Our guys off the ball were moving really well, and they were pretty easy to find, to be honest with you. Talk about, Coach, the emotions of your team. Five minutes to go, down, down three. You're able to score three in less than two and a half minutes. What changed in that period of time to get, to get your team to overtime? Uh, well, you know, I thought we were sloppy, especially in the third quarter. We made some, you know, some plays that, that I didn't think were good. Uh, on the offensive end and, and you know open some things up on the defensive end um, we just stepped up and, and you know we won some face-offs there um, you know Nick won, won a couple of face-offs right in a row and our offense just started clicking again um, just got in a little bit of a groove and, and we got a couple of stops and you know again with this group um, you know probably why I don't have any hair but uh, mm -hmm. you know we, we we're not a couple of goals you know five minutes ago was not not that big of a deal and again these guys worked worked hard at it uh, against a really good defense and a really good goalie how does it feel for you to, to be champions uh, finally for you a couple of difficult seasons previously, but what is the, what is the emotion for you right now? I mean, yeah, it, it's great. It's what we've been working for for four years since I've been here. And, and I mean, with Volker and Ford and, and Collins, our coaches, like they, they, they've been working really hard every single year. We've gotten close, but never quite made the, the jump. And to make the jump feels great. It's, it's phenomenal. Coach, you obviously have a personal connection with Coach Tierney. You guys room together. So what does it mean to go pound for pound with him and, and Hofstra here in the championship in such a great game? Yeah, I mean, it's tough. I mean, I, you know, I, I root for him to be successful. He's, you know, one of my best friends. Um, it's not an easy, you know, it's not an easy thing. Um, obviously, when the game's going on, that stuff kind of goes out the window. Um, but, you know, I, I think they're a very good team. Um, I'm hoping they make the NCAA tournament. I think they deserve it. Um, you know, they've done a great job all year. They've had a great year, and Seth's done a great job on them. So we're talking about the player goaltender today. Gabrielson played excellent, especially in that first half, making nine saves. You know, he was key for you guys, especially with those two saves in uh, overtime. Yeah, he, I mean, he played great. Um, he's had a very good year. Um, to be honest with you, he was a little bit shaky uh, against Towson, um, and I think he knew it, and he came out, fired up, and, and stepped, up, stepped up and played really well today. Um, and obviously, we needed every, every one of those stops. Thank you, gentlemen.